AI nanomachines injected into our brains and other parts of our bodies get a new generation of cyborgs within 20 years. That's according to a senior inventor at IBM's Hersley Innovation Center who claims in two decades humans will have superhuman strength and be able to control gadgets using the power of thought. Speaking to the House of Lords Artificial Intelligence Committee, John McNamara said the technology create a new generation of humans that are melded to machines. McNamara said the next few decades would see huge leaps forward in what the human consciousness is able to do. We may see AI nanomachines being injected into our bodies, he told Piers. According to The Telegraph, these will provide huge medical benefits, such as being able to repair damage to cells, muscles and bones, perhaps even augment them. This will mean we can embed ourselves into our surroundings and control our environment with thought and gesture alone. He predicted political avatars will search through vast quantities of governmental data and tell people how they should vote. He claimed the creation of technology that allows our bodies to join with machines will also mean we could enhance human cognitive capability directly, potentially offering greatly improved mental, as well as being able to utilize vast quantities of computing power to augment our own thought processes. However, he warned that these nanomachines might only be available to wealthier people. People. This would mean they would be disproportionately stronger, have better cognitive ability, health and lifespan. Noel Sharkey, Emeritus Professor of AI and Robotics, University of Sheffield also provided evidence to the committee. He raised concerns about biases being embedded in machine learning. The immediate concern is that by ceding decisions or control to machines, the humans start accepting their decisions as correct or better than their own and stop paying attention. He said, Miles Brundage and Alan Daffo from the University of Oxford warn people's jobs could be at risk from AI. AI is likely to exceed human performance in most cognitive domains. This poses substantial safety risks, they told peers. Dr. Jochen Leitner, director of research at Thomson Reuters also said older people or those with regional accents could struggle to use voice recognition systems in the future. Such a system would likely be trained with British voice is available in London if the company developing the system is London-based, he said, as well as asking experts to submit evidence. The government has also commissioned an independent review on artificial intelligence called Growing the Artificial Intelligence Industry in the UK. The report recommended basic information about people's health and lifestyles should be opened up to allow major advances to be made in developing artificial intelligence. The report makes 18 recommendations recommendations on how to make the UK a world leader in AI, including boosting skills through an industry-funded master's program and increasing diversity in the sector. It calls for the Alan Turing Institute, named in honor of the wartime codebreaker, to become a national center for AI and said the government should expand its support for businesses in the field. Industry experts called for the government to set up a secure system of sharing data, claiming areas where the records are most sensitive are also often the ones where the greatest benefits can be achieved. It also highlighted how Health App Your MD wants access to data sets of anonymized personal health records from the health service in order to improve its free-of-charge advice service. Matteo Berlucci, chief executive officer, said a profound understanding of each individual person's medical profile was needed. Therefore, access to reliable and consistent data sets of anonymized personal health records would give us a tremendous tremendous boost towards achieving this goal, he said. Investment in research and development over the next four years has been increased by $4.7 billion by the government. Culture's Secretary Karen Bradley said, I want the UK to lead the way in artificial intelligence. It has the potential to improve our everyday lives, from healthcare to robots that perform dangerous tasks.